hello vlog welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is maria if you're new here and i'm a teacher here in shanghai where we're currently in lockdown so it's been fun it hasn't it's been today's day 41 i believe of lockdown so haven't been able to leave the apartment for 41 days super fun yeah i've been teaching online chilling not much to do really make sure to check out the previous lockdown vlogs if you're interested to see more um like how we ended up here i also did a week in a quarantine hotel so that was interesting um so be sure to check those out if you're interested but anyway it is monday morning just another week in the life i got up this morning and did my workout uh, i taught my class Put some Olaplex in my hair as per usual. And now it's time to clean because this place is a mess. So stay tuned for a fun little week in lockdown and let's cue the cleaning montage. Vlog. Place is clean. The clothes aren't in there. You might be able to hear them every so often. Um, I'm gonna add some coconut oil to my hair now. You have to do this after because if like your hair is too oily, the oil Olaplex doesn't soak it up. I'm doing a lot. Um, like a lot, a lot. My hair has been super damaged. Try to do this at least once or twice a week and just bring some life into it. And that's that. Gonna tie it up. Try not to get the sweatshirt oily at Sam's. And that is it. It's like noon now. So I might have a little snack. We got English muffins the other day. So maybe I'll do like a PB and J. Or like a little egg and cheese. Breakfast meat, so you know, it works and gets the job done. Good. Actually, give the people what they want. What they want is breakfast sandwich content, or at least it's what I want. My hair is clean. The only annoying thing about coconut oil is how hard it is to wash out, but it is what it is. I'm just gonna put in some Moroccan oil and let my hair air dry because I don't have a blow dryer currently. Left it at my last apartment. So it's fine. I'm done with my PBT with one of my PBTs for the week. So I'm gonna call it a day for that. I think I'm gonna edit last week's vlog. And that is all. It's been a nice productive day. Let's do a haul. So they're tightening restrictions on the building and the whole city really. But like in our community specifically, we can only order essentials and it's like kind of a whole weird thing. I don't know, we have to like take tests twice a day. Anyway, so we got these fun little government foods. It's this like weird dried meat. Yum. So that's cool. On to more exciting stuff. We did a Star Mart haul, as we have been doing, because, you know, gotta get the goods before it's too late. So, we got another bottle of this Kava, 
it's pretty good i don't know why i was just like kind of craving coconut water i almost bought some yesterday and then i didn't and then i was regretting it so coconut water two things of english muffins because they're actually really bomb you can stick some in the freezer so don't go bad got a nice thing of sourdough got some beans love that we got milk i think we have like six milks now but it doesn't go bad so oh. Sam got me three avocados, loving life, slash for both of us, but you know, I eat them more, but for both of us. Some really gross, <laughs> I don't like these, but Sam's obsessed with them, Fisherman's Friends, or like cough drops, right? Lozenges, if you will. I really like the word lozenges, I think it's funny. We have like four butters now, I think, but yeah. anyway. And cream cheese. That's our haul. Thanks for watching. Now Sam's gonna put away all these groceries. Sammy made dinner and it looks yummy. Yeah. And it's blue moon time, baby. Good night. This is the vibe we're manifesting today, okay? Luxurious holiday. Got the pigtails out. Got the little holiday shirt on. Like, let's go. Let us out of here. Let's go to Sanya. Let's go to Thailand. Let's go to Bali. Let's go to online class. Just finished class. It's very chill today. I'm gonna fold these clothes up and put them away and chill out. I think I'm gonna work on my PPT later, second PPT of the week, and finish up my vlog that I was working on yesterday. And that's all. We got another government package. I don't want styrofoam all over, so let's try to... Ooh, that looks pretty good, actually. Look at that bok choy. Pepper. Oh, a shitload of ginger. Bok choy. You see another ginger? Where? Oh, down there. Oh, wow. This is um pretty this is good. This the best one, this. Cucumbers, yeah. There's so many cucumbers, though. We got about eight. Tomatoes. It's brunch time, baby. Oh, the chef is at it. It smells good. It's just it's garlic -y. Can't really go wrong. Yeah. And I'm watching YouTube. Fun. I got a roofie. Mentioned, but we're essentially going into a stricter lockdown this week because they're they're just trying to end this thing. They're trying to end it. So we can only order essentials now. Um, but we're pretty good on groceries, it seems like. I don't think we'll really need to order much this week. We're supposed to do two, like, at-home antigen tests a day, which is very excessive. We don't, I don't think, even have enough tests for that, so we're not really gonna do that. And then, I'm assuming we'll get actual PCR tests every other day. I'm not sure. We'll see. There were only, like, 3,000 cases today, a little bit less than that, so that's Good news, good sign. Hopefully this will end by the end of the month. Like, I think this this like stricter lockdown is meant to last for about a week. We'll see if that works out because this whole lockdown was supposed to last four days and now we're on day 40, whatever. So cool, cool, cool. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it is quick and then we're like at a lockdown. For real, for real, because that would be lovely. I really just want to get out of here and go grab a drink and walk around and chill and whatever. This looks and smells so good. Thanks, pal, as always. Morning. About to work out. It's looking cloudy today. It's testing time, and Sam's in the middle of his class. Oh no. We are moving. So this is how we do it. We scan our QR codes, and they scan the little tube, and then we get it, and then it connects to us, and that's how we get our results. We're sharing a test tube today so they can um, streamline the process, the I guess. test tube for the test tube, baby. Oh yeah. Very good fun fact. There's always problems. Every day is a problem. Today, they reported only 1,300 positive cases. Actually, a little bit less than that, which I don't fully believe, to be honest. But guys love tech. He just brings his idea. Oh my gosh! They can do that. It's time.
They grow up so fast. He left his breakfast mm. sandwich. Very good. Thanks. I think mine is upside down by accident, but it's fine. I need coffee. Look at how sexy that yolk is. Slandering me right now. That's what you're witnessing, folks. Sure. But he made this lovely looking dinner, so, you know, can't complain too much, I guess. I read this little book novella today. It's very short, like 60 pages um, by Gillian Flynn. And don't get me wrong, I love Gillian Flynn. Like, loved Gone Girl, loved Dark Places, loved Sharp Objects. So I had this, I've had it for a while. Um, I finally picked it up and read it today. And it started out so good. Like it had the potential to be so good. Like it was really good up until the very end. Like. They like reveal. They had this little reveal, and it was all so good. And it was like, oh my god! And then they just kind of like flip flopped around. It like reminded me of Verity by Colleen Hoover. I feel like she could have just like ended it ten pages earlier, and it would have been, you know, I'm having burgers for dinner. The log. Log is chilling, and. We got this nice bag of arugula, a melon, and like so many kinds of mushrooms for whatever reason. Just some nice government mushrooms. I get these mushrooms. Forty-eight now. Yeah. Forty-eight what? Oh, that's weird. Why is it so busy right now? They said they were doing it one by one. It was awful. So much for social distancing. This is the vibe. Cute. 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 In the rain, that in the COVID. There's a litter. That whole hallway. Full of people, ridiculous. Be loads of people with it tomorrow. Watch this. Well, if no one in the building has but, it, uh, knock why, on wood. Why take the risk? Yeah, it's just dumb. The... It's, it's, it's like trash cans. Why are you spraying trash cans? It's raining. <laughs> tomorrow is pub quiz night, so it's our turn to host. So we spent a while today making the pub quiz. Very exciting. Got some good categories. Vibes. It's really loud outside. I don't know what's going on. It sounds like a party and I want to go. Like, I feel like I hear a piano. Anyway, um, that's kind of all. I don't think I really vlogged today, but pub quiz tomorrow. Stay tuned. We forgot to take meat out of the freezer today for dinner. So, this is my dinner. I made a weird little salad. Yum! Maybe, maybe. Hi vlog, just did my workout. I'm very red and sweaty. Still have her going on the TV. Sam is running. And that's the vibes. We were gonna do like a little brunch vibe thing, but we'll see what happens because ordering <laughs> stuff is hard. But we got orange juice, so I think we're gonna make mimosas because we have kava. We have like four eggs left, so I guess we can do eggs, English muffins, some, um... Do we take out the sausages? What? Did you take out the sausages? Should I do that? Yeah, I can. You can cook them for frozen in the oven anyway. Okay. We'll have sausages, because we have a shit ton of breakfast sausages. So it's fine, we'll make our little brunch. And we have avocados that are hopefully ripe. Hi, vlog. We're making brunch. It's... Mimosa time. Let's do it. Very efficient. Let me 
making the mimosas now. The key is a lot of bubbly and a splash of orange juice. That's how we like our mimosas in this house. This all started because I woke up and I was like, do you want to go to Rooster? Because I was really in the mood for brunch and I feel like Rooster is like a nice little low-key brunch if you like wake up early enough and like, what should we do on a Saturday? Rooster, but obviously we can't go there. So here we are making brunch. Hope this orange juice is all right. All right, Moses, done. Shall we try? Cheers. I feel like this orange juice is gonna be, um, you know, Oh, it's so cold. It's good. It's a little bit more RJ, I think. The sausages are in the oven. It's brunch time, baby. Oh, I'm really excited. Brunch is really good. Now we're running to grab our upper market box. This is the look. Feeling cute, feeling cute. Oh, pub quiz vibes. Let's open our box. Got a lot of tomatoes actually by accident. I didn't think it would be that many, but I want to make that feta cheese tomato pasta thing. So I got lychee. Oh, this, this is too bright. Lychee. It's summer fruit season. Oh, fuck. I ordered those lemons for nothing. They gave us a free fruit box and they put lemons. I just spent a hundred quai on freaking lemons because we got gin and tonic. A hundred quai? Yeah. <laughs> I How many stuff. lemons did you buy? Like 12. That's all like, they only had like a lot or none. So I thought it would like, we wanted it for the gin and tonic, obviously. We didn't. <laughs> I've been marking it was free well, lemons. We they gave us a free fruit box. So there's bananas, oh, that's good. couple apples. And then two grapefruits, which I don't really like. Do you like grapefruit? Yeah. Oh, that would be good for the gin. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I can't believe I spent a hundred quai on frickin' lemons. I know you don't like the word frickin', but my mom is mad at me for swearing too much on the vlog, so. Next. Oh, the feta cheese. Love. Um, chicken thighs. Yeah, three packs. I'm not going to show you because it's chicken. And then here's the fun one, baby. Ice cream. Let's open. Ooh. It's not, it's the box that came uh, open. Spinach pizza. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then, what the hell is this? You got pork? Mm. Dry cured? British pork? That's bacon you found. Ew, why does your bacon look like that? And then some steaks. So I love that. Anyway, really excited about our free lemons, but really feel like an idiot for spending so much money on lemons. Yeah, you live, you learn. Anyway, I'm going to put this stuff in the fridge and try to cancel my lemon order. Sam, I haven't spoken to you in ages. Ah, Maria does all my admin. Ow. <laughs> Hi, Ben. I don't want to vlog, but fuck. Vlog it, vlog it. I'll be right back. I did not call the policeman. Woman boo. Like we. Like, I did not call the police. It's, it's okay. We. Tell you what, I'm just going to go downstairs. Why? Because um, it's going to be forever this. We get our passport for the other cupboard, please. We're going to try and see if we're foreign. Are you going? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They want his passport. This evening has been just so stupid. Um, wait, I'll explain it later. Oh, I left Bug in the bedroom. Sorry, little Bob, I'm coming. Okay, sorry, honey. Okay. We are on our last round of Zoom quiz. Let's finish this up. Sam is downstairs with the police. So there's that. I'll explain later. It's a long story. Five. Fifty-five. Fifty-five. And uh, the previous winner had fifty-four. Ooh. We have a new champion, goddammit. Jack and Taylor. Boom. The new champions, baby. <laughs> that was good, guys. That was good. I'm going to get the star marked. It's 
been a wild ride. Just been trying to get gin and tonic since yesterday. Okay, vlog, we got the goods. Got that Bombay. So basically yesterday, we ordered gin and tonic like midday. We had the pub quiz last night. So we wanted, I wanted the gin for the quiz. You know, I was kind of like a bit over beer, a bit over wine. Like we were like, let's do something fun. So we ordered the gin and tonic. I ordered the 10 lemons and then got like more lemons as you saw for free. So that was a waste. I was not able to cancel my lemon order. So I did receive my 10 or maybe 12 actually lemons. Anyway, it's like getting close to the pub quiz time chilling we're on zoom with like harry and alberto whatever and i'm looking at our group chat and they send a video of some guy going to the shelf downstairs and taking someone else's things and in the video on our on on the shelf is our box of tonic water and like a bag so i'm like oh that's ours so i go down to get it and there's nothing there shelf's empty like great i come back up i message in the group saying like hey um my stuff isn't there. I just went. It's this one. Like, I circled it in the video. And they're like, oh, it's there. So I look again. It's not there. Sam is messaging them. He goes down. It's not there. Whatever. It's like this whole big thing. And finally, he goes down. And there's all these people down there. And they're like, this lady's screaming at him in Chinese. And some guy who speaks some English goes up and is like, hey, this person stole a bunch of our stuff. Um, our tonic waters had been like the box was open and some were missing That was this whole big thing. So he calls me. I'm like up here trying to get the quiz started and He tells me what's going on. I'm like, you know what? Forget it. Just leave it. It's just gin like come back and we'll do the quiz and it's not a big deal And then they're messaging him in the group saying come down the police is here to like To come tell them what happened this and that like it was a whole big thing and they send a picture of the box of tonic waters. It's been taped up. And they're like, your stuff is here. Come take it. And we're like, no, it's been in your house. Like, what the hell? Anyway, eventually, we're like mid-quiz. And we get a knock on the door. And they're like, we need your passport, blah, blah, blah. So he goes down with them and gives his passport information and all this stuff. And the police is apparently supposed to contact him today. And we're going to get the money back, allegedly. I don't know. I'm kind of over it at this point. I'm just glad we have gin. So these... <laughs> freaking lemons that i bought don't go to waste that's all chilling today the quiz was really fun actually um it was fun to host i was we started drinking like really early yesterday so the, by the time it happened i was like pretty tipsy and there was all this stuff going on and i was like eh. it was just a lot but it was fun hope everyone liked it glad we got our gin finally that's all today we're chilling not really hungover luckily i think sam is a little bit but we're cool we're chilling. We were having a grand old time yesterday. How was your police encounter? Frustrating. I was some of bats. Frustrating. I feel like I possibly was a bit more aggravated than I needed to be as well, which didn't help matters. You were quite aggravated. I was. I was just fed up. I think I was... I really was... for 40 odd days. Yeah. Fun in the mood for it. It was dumb. I feel like I was already like quite drunky at that point and i was so my energy was just all on the quiz yeah, and i was like i was like you know it's literally fine just it's just gin we're fine I would like to get our money back that would be nice updates to come probably in the next vlog because we have not received any police contact today look at how beautifully stocked we are we have the tonics back here that's just pointless stuff that i never took out to be honest got our gin i got a couple rows of asahis and got a couple blue moons got two diet cokes for sam and then back there you can't really see there's a bottle of kava oh no that's just white wine not kava but yeah bottle wine we're all stocked baby it's monday morning I'm like still asleep yeah it's the next morning i'm just running down to grab some at home covid tests because we're getting properly tested and we have to shut them those when we go down they're all out. There's like a lot of flies on there. That's, I really don't like that. Anyway, I'm going to end this vlog. But apparently, starting today, they're going to begin lifting some restrictions. And they're going to start slowly opening things back up. Like malls and restaurants and I don't know. Maybe not restaurants. I don't know. No one really knows. I think we're still, like our building will still be locked down for a bit because another building in the compound 
had positive cases the past couple days. But yeah, we'll see what happens. See how that goes. But yeah, hopefully soon we can go over again. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Like overall, good things, big steps, good moves. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week. Make sure to stay tuned for the next one to see what happens if we ever get out of here. Uh, subscribe if you're not and give this video a big, big, big thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.